tradition, rivalry, anniversaries. They're all found in a marriage and also at the Monon Bell game. Well, who's gonna ring the bell louder? The Pa or a Wabash, the all men's school? Let's go find out. The Monon Bell is a 300 pound locomotive trophy awarded to the victor of the Wabash Little Giants and the DePaul Tigers. According to Hoosier natives, it is the biggest D3 football game in history, and this year is the 125th anniversary. Before the actual game, I traveled to both colleges to learn why these two schools don't get along so well. My first stop was DePaul University, located in Greencastle, Indiana, a town known for liquor stores, gas stations, and rich white kids. I stood up with head coach Bill Lynch and sat down with quarterbacks and receivers to discuss the Monon Bell game and what it means to them. Austin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. You too. We're going to switch seats. I'm sitting oh, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to sit here. You just... All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> I'm standing here live with coach Bill Lynch. What does this game mean to you? Well, it's, it's the game uh, for both of us uh, each year. and. Coming the last Saturday of uh, the season, uh, it's special. And as you mentioned, 125 years, uh, that's, a, that's a long rivalry and a great tradition. And, and uh, the thing that's amazing over the 125 years, how competitive it's been. Have you been alive that long? Not quite that long, but... Uh, what position are you? Uh, I'm, the, I'm the backup quarterback. You don't seem comfortable. Yeah, I'm not feeling too comfortable. I think I need something, man. I want you to put on your uniform. That's cool. Just play oh, that football interview. Yeah. So uh, right here, I have a helmet. Yeah. But you're not going to wear this. You don't really play that much. Yeah, I don't. So, so I'm going to get you a headset. Oh, that's a And deal. then here's your clipboard. Oh, right at home. Here we go. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. What does the Monon Bell game mean to you? The Monon Bell game to me is just uh, a game of tradition, a lot of passion. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of emotion playing. Biggest game of the year. Everybody knows it. It's the biggest week on this campus. It's a big game for the boys, and uh, it's an even bigger game for the fans out in the tailgating fields. Okay, I get it. They're rivals, so they're supposed to not like each other, but why do they really hate each other? So each school then will keep the bell for the whole year, and so last year we had the bell leading up to the game, and some Wabash students actually snuck under the basketball bleachers and staked out there for about, I think it was like six hours, dressed up in Obama and Trump masks. And uh, then that night they went in and they tried to unscrew the bell and steal it. It all made sense. Wabash has no respect for women and their stealers. Ben Roethlisberger sure played here. I traveled to Wabash to create small talk about the game and learn more about the thieves. I understand Wabash is leading the series 64 to 58, is that I believe so, yes. There? That's right, yeah. And then nine ties. Well, I understand this bell was stolen two years ago. It you, was. You, you guys er, tried to steal it back. Yeah, yeah. So last year they tried stealing it, um, and, you know, it was a fail. They got it out of the building, and they set off a motion sensor. You know who these kids are who stole it? Yeah. I'm not going to name any names, though, so. All right, I just have to turn into Batman and try and find them. <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay. My original plan was to visit Wabash, but after hearing this news, it was time to pay Wabash a visit. With the help from the five people that I knew from high school and from the Snapchat map, I was able to determine the location of these thieves. Go fish. I was going to say that. Okay. You can see it. No, you already ruined the game. No shit, it's Batman. So you two, the people who stole the bell from the ball. Yeah, we tried to. We failed. You go to an old man's school and they can't teach you how to be a man and, and finish the job? Well, things happen. What made you want to steal the bell in front of people of the ball? Tradition. What? Tradition. So, on October 18th, 2017, we drove to the school down south and it was a Wednesday and we waited in their gymnasium Lily Center or whatever for about six hours. During that six hours, we just waited behind the bleachers and we saw at least two janitors cleaning the first floor and the second floor. When it was about 2 a.m., we didn't hear any more vacuums going and we saw the last guy leave out of the office and go out the door that we actually came in. So when they left, we checked our surroundings upstairs first and then once we saw the coast was clear on the second floor, 
we went downstairs to the bell and it was like a NASCAR pit stop and got that bell off there in about three minutes, took it outside and the rest is history. So you want to tell me why I shouldn't arrest you all four for stealing this? Tradition. The prosecutor. Since you're trying to steal the bell, I got another test for you. If you can do what I say, I'll let you down store for free without being your asses. If you go to McDonald's, order a small water and fill it up with soda and get away with it. I'll pretend it's never happened. Deal. Deal. I just get a cup for water, please. Thank you so much. The day has finally come. The day has finally come. Men versus women. And men, too. As I stepped on the DePaul student bus and headed to Wabash, my intent was to cover the Monon Bell game. As I'm editing this video and being distracted by Red Dead Redemption 2, I realized this game happened two weekends ago. Wabash won. What do I cover now? I then remembered what Michael said to me in the interview. And, uh, it's an even bigger game for the fans out in the tailgating fields. The fans out in the tailgating fields. Who cares about a D3 football game? I'm here for the fans and tailgates. Wabash sucks. They're like wieners. Fuck Wabash! Fuck Wabash! Let's go. Wabash means shit, baby. Do you go here? Uh, I don't go here. I do. Just for the record, DePaul doesn't stand a chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. Yeah. The game's over before it started. Yeah. Just so everybody knows. I always support DePaul because they allow women. That's all about gender equality, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm with that too. I, I, I get that, you know. Yeah. These, these males, you know, they're just. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, all right, game. Yeah, here's to the women. Hello, we're here live at the Wabash game, a 7 0 Wabash, and we'll see who wins. Did you transfer from Wabash? Did I do what? Did you transfer from Wabash to be a cheerleader? No. Oh. Alright. Hey, a uh, rumor that one Wabash's chance is Deepaw swallows, so I'm gonna start it. Deepaw swallows! Deepaw swallows! Deepaw swallows! That's the clarification. Like, what do they swallow? They're fucking cum. Hey, you don't have the right to look the duck, bro. Shut the fuck up! First of all, I'm being polite. He, the fuck, they're not polite. Don't find me, bitch! You have no girl. Don't find me! I fucking dare you! I swear! Fuck you, the fuck! All bash likes dudes! All bash likes dudes! Nothing wrong with that! Nothing wrong with that! Nothing wrong with that! You can't say we swallow when they like dudes. It's kind of yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But I would just say, I would just like for them to be more accurate. Do you guys like Borat? When it comes to friendly competition, I always say, may the best man win. Of course, I wanted a paw to win, but I also want to go to a frat party after the game. So, thank you, Wabash, for the hospitality. Ow! Just like the eSport. Men dominate. Monon Bell, 125th anniversary. We'll see you next year. Maybe. Where's the Monon Bell? That motherfucker from Barstool? Yeah, what's going on? What's going on, my man? Good to see you.